researching it. And well, we don't know it, but back. you know, so this is entertainment. The folks. I, we're not going to say we're new. The idea <laughs> today, we're just we can't prove uh, we can't uh, prove. Trying to prove anybody is real is even a hard thing on this planet well, for yeah. real. Anybody in history, I mean, when people say this, that, and the other thing, but I and based it on something. the time frame. Whether it was on fake news or not, folks, this is the why we're starting to be trusted. Like Tommy and I, even though we've never met, I have to trust because we're starting with the whole concurrence of redoing cyberspace, and then the internet highway is being splintered because China and Russia won't play with us in cyberspace. And right now we're going to war because one of them shot off a satellite. And we were supposed to know about if they played up there in cyberspace, not in cyberspace. Well, I guess it's above cyberspace. Or maybe it is. No, it would be because they have satellites. So, boy, this is going to get so complicated. We have a. It's going to be real that. easy. What? Go they ahead. shoot out a couple of satellites. We're in trouble. The world They've will be in trouble. Done that. They already shot. No, no, I'm talking about the main state. No, the main ones. The ones that are broadcasting the signal around the planet. Uh, they didn't shoot out any major thing because our, our whole economy would crash. No, I'm saying they shut down. They shot another uh, payload out of a satellite that was supposed to be for communication, sort of monitoring Americas. Uh, one or two of them were sort of getting in our territory, and we asked them to move, and they did. But prior to that, one of them shot a payload out, not towards America, but out in space, so we don't know what the point of uh, well, some something something just shot a, a beam at the space station last week, two weeks ago. A red beam hit it. They don't know where it came from. Uh, the same as now, the red beam also hit Southern California, but the United States did that one. They're playing with the uh, direct energy weapons, DEW, uh, and they hit the California area and they hit uh, Colorado as well. The two fires were blasted. Now, if you want to, it's provable, and that's beyond well, that's the shadow of a doubt. Space. Well, we're not. We're putting up. Uh, well, we've always had secret space in the black budget for intelligence communities, but communications is one thing with satellites. But we're talking about protecting the sovereignty of the space that we thought we had a treaty with everybody on the planet. That means all. Uh, sentient intelligent well, beings. There was a treaty. Planet. We did have a treaty. All the worlds agreed when we leave planet Earth, we will be one race in space. That was agreed that on. That was like in 1966 before we did the right. Prime Directive. Right, a long time ago. With the Not nine. China decides they want. We chose no. that. That was a choice we well, made. Well, we went to war. With, we nine, went with to Eisenhower his and Area 51 and uh, the one Dr. Rick Miller talked to. Uh, in Area 51, the ones you know, with the gonna... abilities that we have uplinks with. But let's go back to well, Atlantis. Your Atlantis, we had those uplinks, but we couldn't form voices. So now we have vocal boxes, and we've well, been, we been talking Atlantis. What? We could talk in Atlantis. Atlantis. We didn't have. Well, we vocal could talk. Boxes. We didn't have to. We we could talk. We had vocal cords. We could talk. I don't know who told you we didn't. Uh, we didn't have to talk because you could read people's minds. It was like you well, didn't have to say hello. Species. You didn't have to say goodbye. There was a species from Mars, and uh, some of now I have a memory back in Mars. Do you? No, I I, I didn't go to Mars. All right. Well, this was pre my, my planet was the blue. I hate it to agree blue? with somebody, but I well I was of the blue world. This was one of them got obliterated. It's like the belt, uh, one of the planets that we had. We had 12 planets at one time. Uh, of course, they're finding all kind of exoplanets out there. There was like 90 billion well, or found, something. Well, they just found, I mean, Billy Myers predicted what planets we were going to find in 1950. So he said we're going to oh, find two more planets, which I we did. That Switzerland, because Dr. Bruce McAbee handled that like he handled Guff Breeze. And I, bless his heart, I wonder if, uh, how he's doing. We should have him come back on and share more data. He said he wound up interviewing me more than I interviewed him, bless his heart. 
Dr. Bruce well, McAbee was a wonderful investigator, still alive, folks. His health is ailing him, but Jan said thanks for keeping him in our UFO Association and our alien contact organization. So God bless all our investigators that were in uniform or out of uniform or did government service or trained. He went to the Central well, Intelligence Agency in D.C. and trained or gave speeches because people just didn't know. Well, well, I want to put something really important out right now, just so that uh, anybody that's listened to this, there's a show on cable TV. It's called The Vice Channel, V-I-C-E, Vice. It's the only show on TV, on the Internet, that shows you actual facts and details and interviews the people that are involved, murderers, rapists, and, drug addicts, and you name it. Tommy's not getting paid to say this, by the way. We're not getting I'm paid. I'm not getting paid, but, pay for this show. but here's the reason why. <laughs> they show. were the only people for the show what the government did to the Native people when they were boycotting the pipeline. All right, on top Whoa. of that. Put, wait, 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 let me finish it. Channel. Let me finish it. Okay. On the 16th, on the Vice Channel, they're doing a complete special on the underground cities in the United States. You're going to have to watch it because most people still think that's a theory, make believe, and everything oh, no, else. I've been You're going to go into the facts. Houston, underground You're DC, going to go into the facts about it. Colorado. Why? New You're Mexico, going to go why? Because, you know, Area 51. They go across <laughs> the United States. They got bases that go all, all the way across to other countries. America. I've been underground well, we even in Spain countries. and Portugal. So I know there's Germany. They had uh, underground where they kept a lot of painting. Well, don't so, forget, only after uh, when Behold the Pale Horse came out, when it explained Denver Airport was the home of the New World Order. After oh, that book came out. Cooper. That was just released again by uh, Norio Hawakawa. Do you know Norio? Well, but basically, no, but He's basically. A real sweet man when that, that, oh, you have well, well, let me just finish what I'm trying to say. Guy. At yes, that sir. time, they had a ground boring machine. It looked like a giant ball with these teeth on it that, that used to grind a hole in the ground. And that's how they made the tunnels. And they had to remove all those rocks. If you follow Denver Airport, look outside, you'll see miles of rocks piled out there. Oh, yeah. And they were pulling the rocks out. I was they there invented they a laser. The over and over and over again. They, they, invented, the they invented technology with a laser beam. They shoot a, a completely round tube through any rock, and they make these tunnels. And that's why those subway cars are round. Uh, they travel through there at high speeds, but they're completely just the, the, the laser hits that and eats the hole through it. So there's no debris. They don't have to bring the rocks back out and mow the rocks and all that. That's, that's no longer. And, and since they started doing that, they were able to create these super underground cities and tunnels going all across the world and stuff. So it, the technology is so far beyond people want to believe or even know about especially what's going on under there, and how much money it's costing. Now, when, when Trump said the space program, we had the space program. They were spending, but the space program's equal to the weapons as well, $5 trillion a year. So when Trump comes out and says, oh, we're going to start a space program, well, he was talking who knows out of what, but well, we I was already in had it. It was we were doing space spa wars or whatever it was. That was well. Uh, we had. I, I started. I don't doing know how much CNN you know about the actual wars. What? All right. Now I was doing. I don't know how much you know about the wars. The wars we had in it's, space. I'm sorry. We had me, three major wars. Major wars. Well, Is that what you're saying? In major wars in space. It's your Joyzy accent. Excuse me, my southern accent, my mountain Kentucky, and jiving with y'all. Jersey, Hawaiian. <laughs> All right. Well, basically, so, we won the war so far. Are you saying that we've far. always had space wars and we always had, will have? I agree. We will and we won. We won three of them. Now, I, and I'm saying this from people that I met that work inside the base on, in Hawaii, in the big underground base here in Hawaii, said that within two years, the motherships will be attacking us. They've been shooting down the, the smaller ships. I saw two ships get shot down about three or four years ago. I watched. Are you getting paid to say this, or do you really know this, or believe this, or I know this it. for a fact. I saw it. Okay. I met these people. 
Her first-hand experience. Yeah, You're speaking from experience, right. okay? I saw the ships get blown out of the sky here in Hawaii. So, and I wasn't wow. going to go out. My partner doesn't believe in UFOs, but she goes, check it out. There's something going on out there in the sky. And I said, where? Oh, check it out. So I ran outside, and sure enough, I saw the ship moving, and it just got blasted away. And about a half, a later, half hour later, another one got blasted away. So this person I was talking to, who has high clearance, who had incredible drones, he was, his drones were chasing the government drones around, seriously. He was arrested. They claimed he was a, an escapee from Australia, Alaska, and he was doing all these things, which was a lie. But they took his drones. They took everything. He had this super really good Geiger counter. We were going to go around Hawaii measuring the radiation because Hawaii is pretty radioactive right now. And uh, I just ordered a Geiger counter. But we was going Have around. We were going to go around. Have you got a thorium in your ground over there? Because that's what UFOs like to use, thorium. Out of the, and that's what we're going to start oh, using well, in America. Right. I know. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the new thing they're using. I don't know how much there is here. I'm not, a, I'm not a, a miner. But they won't well, talk I'm, about it. They're not going to release I'm that. Two things are going to release, TJ. Comes out the back going to be above track. that. What? The two things they're going to release this year are going to be much more important to the world. One's called blue gas. Blue gas. And the other one's called glass batteries. Yeah. Both of them have They're the high technology. Future YouTubes. <laughs> Some well, people find out. No, they're going to be supplying. You can go across the whole United States with one filling. All hey, right. Tommy. And you, and you can charge it in five minutes. We're going to be off in two minutes. I'm sure that your partner, Namgal, will be glad to have you not speak. Yeah, she wants to eat. She wants to, no, no. She wants to eat. I'm I'm starving. I'm starving. I gotta go cook me something. Dang it! I don't have anybody right. to cook for me. Well, but it's been a pleasure, TJ. To everybody well, out there, my site. You can talk, call me, text me, hawksbud one aol dot com anytime. I reply to all my email, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, you got well, any you truth? Well, you start a any, database any... as ACO because you are a paid member monthly, two bucks, folks. All they charge we charge. If you want to be in our ACO, so you have Y chapter, and we'll give your not even we'll, a, we'll give not even a can of soda in our club, right, Tommy? Right, it's not even a can of soda. A can of soda is like two thirty here. <laughs> All right. Well, if you put it in, Tommy and I will talk about you and put you on our our club. So, and even uh, if you got something to say, we'll bring you on. <laughs> If it's UFO related, right, or alien contact right. organization, ACO. But uh, we're doing our best, folks, to hang in here and uh, not right. sound too crazy while we uh, learn to work well, we with do, ontology but... and real people in cyberspace on the Internet Highway. Remember, it goes both ways, folks, in and out. All right. Zero one, uh, on and off. Pleasure. Pleasure, everybody. Next time. Thank you, Tommy. Are you going to come Sunday? Yep. All right, I'll build Sunday, folks. We'll have our spiritual Sundays. That's our Sunday go to meeting for those of you that believe alien civilizations exist and gods and God and God the absolute. So uh, we appreciate Tommy Hawksblood. That's Thomas Anthony Sinisi of New Jersey that moved to Hawaii and runs our chapter on the Big Island, and Janet Carolesson runs our chapter, ACO UFO Association, through her home in Wailuku, Hawaii, on Maui. And she had a UFO show tonight. So, Janet, I put a plug in for you on radio with Penny Bradley and others. So, ladies, we hope you will come on our Wednesday shows. Uh, I'm going to do Tara, do my higher self. For those that like channels, super fun type stuff for entertainment. Well, folks, it's been enjoyable. I've really enjoyed it. I uh, didn't have a dog bite tonight. I apologize for the dog barks. But she's been pretty calm with the cat, considering I didn't feed them dinner yet. And it's getting late here, so 9 o'clock here. It's 10 o'clock Eastern. Please uh, remember to stay tuned, 7 to 9 on Fridays and Thursdays, I've not confirmed yet with Jeanette, Marciana, Lucas, or Suzanne Flint, 